forth with Beach Workout, and I'm a certified personal trainer. I've been training for about eight years, and I have about 24 clients, and I love them all. i got to say that because they're going to be watching this. Anyway, um, we're going to be working the shoulders today. You've got to keep up with me here. Um, I want you to take your time, and we're going to have fun. Here we go. We're going to go from one exercise to the other. Remember, no resting. Slight bend the knee, all right? Keep the posture. We're going to come up. We're going to do a shoulder press over the head. Here we go. One, 90 degree angle on the way down. Two, three, four, five. We're going to do five more and go right to a lateral raise. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now bring them down here. Nice deep breath. And sweep it out to the side. Nice slow control. Two, we're doing ten of these. Three, remember you got to pick the weight that's good for you. Five. It's not how much you do, it's how you do it, right? Six. Seven. As slow as you can on the way down. Eight. Nine. Last one, you're going to hold the top. And then bring them down nice and slow. Again, keep a slight bend in the knee. You're going to bring the shoulders back. We're going to shrug. Here we go. One. Two. Remember, straight up and down. Don't fold over. Three. Four. Five. Six. Four more. Seven, eight, nine, and hold the top and squeeze. Now we're going to turn the palms away from the body. Front raise for those front delts, right at chin level. One, lower it down as slow as you can. Two, three, four, five. You got five more. Six, seven, eight. Nine. I've been going a little bit too fast. Here we go. One more. Hold. And then lower it down slow. Now we're going to put those lateral and the front raise together. Here we go. One. Slow on the way down. Now front. Two. Slow. Three. Four. Five. Six. Four more. Seven. Starting to feel a little bit. Eight. Nine. Here we go. One more. And hold. Okay, you're gonna go from right to here. Shoulder press, here we go. One, this is when you really start to feel it. Two, three, four, five. See, these are only five pounds and I feel it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, all right. Okay, we're going to do a little bicep and a tricep circuit here. We're going to start with your biceps. Slight bend the knee. Palms up. Now, you want to keep your elbows to the side. A lot of, I see a lot of people swinging their elbows up. It's a no-no. You want to keep your elbows to the side and curl. Nice, slow, and controlled. Two. Three. Go oh, in front of you here. Four. Five. Six. Nice and slow. Flex your biceps to the top. Seven. Let's go three more. Eight. Nine and ten. Good. Okay, we're gonna go right to the triceps. All right. Slight bend the knee. You're gonna lean into a little bit. Put your hand on the hip. Okay, keep that elbow up and extend out. Okay, nice and slow. Two. Remember, I'm not rounding the back out. Keep the back nice and straight. Three. Four. Now I'm doing a single arm extension. Five. You can really isolate that side. Six. Seven. You got three more. Eight. Nine, and hold the top and squeeze. Now we gotta go to the other side. Here we go. Again, support yourself, slight bend the knee, and extend. One, two, three, four. And the beauty of this, if you have a weaker arm, which everybody does, nobody's perfectly balanced, this will strengthen up the weaker side because you're using a single limb. It's very important. I think we got one more here to make 10. And 10, good. We're going to go back to the biceps. We're going to do a hammer curl. Okay, again, slight bend the knee. All right, and you're going to keep the palm and down. Nice and slow, palms toward each other. Okay, this particular exercise, as opposed to having the palms up, just work your forearm a little bit. Nice, slow control. There's five, six, seven. Notice how I'm not moving my arm, just the bicep. Eight. Nine, 
and 10. Okay, we're gonna go back to the triceps here. Okay, you're gonna take the weight, you're gonna grasp it here, thumbs over each other, right behind, slight bend the knee, and you're gonna extend up. Keep those elbows tight to the side. One, two, three, straight up, four. Come down to a 90 degree angle here, five, six, we got four more, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, we're gonna do a single arm bicep curl, okay? Concentration, you're gonna spread the feet out a little bit wider, and the hip, right in here, and you're gonna curl. One, two, remember, stabilize yourself. Three, you can do this off the bench as well if you like. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. One more, and pause and squeeze that bicep. We'll go right to the other side. Again, your weight's gonna shift a little bit. Now you're gonna stabilize yourself and curl. One, two, and then when you come down and stretch, three, don't lock out the elbow, nice and slow. Four, five, six, and the beauty of this as well, seven, you're working those legs. Eight, why? Because you're stabilizing yourself. Nine, and hold, squeeze, good. Okay, that's it. Um, these movements that I'm gonna be showing you right now um, are more advanced. In fact, it's probably the hardest exercise that you can do, period. So this is for the more advanced uh, workout person, whether it be male or female. We're gonna do is we're gonna do a pull-up, all right? So you're gonna come up here. Now the gym, every gym has an apparatus where you can come up. It's usually a cable apparatus where they have a pull-up bar. Now, a couple things are very important. When you're doing your pull-ups, you never wanna bring the hands too wide. A lot of people have their hands way too wide. You wanna keep it just a little wider than shoulder width, okay? For in line with your body, okay? If you have shoulders that are this wide, you want your hands this wide. If you have shoulders this wide, and so forth. So I'm gonna take a grip about right in here. It's a little wider than my shoulder width, okay? All right, nice, slow control. Now the key is, is when you, when you come up, bring the chin over the bar. When you come down, don't extend all the way, okay? You wanna keep your chest up. Cross the legs behind you, stabilize yourself. You're gonna lift up and hold, and lower it down slow. Now notice I don't come down all the way. Keep that shoulder down and squeeze. Nice, slow control. And a lot of people can't even do one of these. But you practice with good form, you'll get better and better. Nice, slow control, okay? Now, once you start, if you start swinging, a lot of people, as they get um, going through the movement, they start to swing. If you just start to swing, put your foot back down on the stool here, collect yourself, and then do another set, okay? Now, a lot of people I notice jerk on these. These are very difficult to do, they try and, and lunge themselves up, and you might as well just stop because it's a waste of your time, okay? We want to do, I'd rather you do two like this, okay, than 10 like this, throwing your legs around, okay? It's a waste of time, you see it all the time in the gym, okay? So let's do a couple more, let's see how you do here. Let's rest for a second, collect yourself. I'm tired too, these are tough, all right? Here we go. Again, always take a look at your hands. That's very important too. A lot of people just come up and just grab and they don't realize that one arm is wider than the other. Same thing with a bar. If you're ever doing a, a bench press or anything with a barbell you always, or a lat pull down bar, you always want to take a good look at your hands. Make sure everything is even before you even start. Okay, here we go. Nice and slow. And remember you lower your weight, feel the weight with the arms and pull yourself up and lower yourself down slow. Remember, keep those shoulders down and pull. See if I can do five here. Three, slow the way Four, four. Okay, I'm gonna do some walking lunges now, which um, is a very popular exercise with everybody. Um, it's very important, a couple things to remember. Um, you never wanna bring the knee over the toe. So that meaning, when you come down in every lunge, you wanna keep the weight on the heel, okay? And you wanna come down and up
long and troll you can keep the integrity of the spine. I'm going to start. Nice slow control and up, feet together, and press through the heel. Okay? I'm still getting better at these two. I'm still learning. Three, four, hit that 90 degree angle on the way down. Five, that back leg is supporting you right through that front heel. Six, seven, notice how I'm bringing my feet together on every rep. Eight, that collects yourself. Nine, 10, we're gonna end on an even number here. 11, that way we do the same on each side. 12, 13, you always wanna keep looking straight ahead. 14, totally focused. 15, five more. 16, 17, 90 degree angle, 18, 19, and press it through, 20. It's as simple as that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is basic uh, standing calf raises, which everybody does. And if, uh, if you're not at a gym and you don't have a step to do it off, you can always do it off a, like a step here or a, or a step at home. What you're going to do is, I'm just going to hold on here for balance. Okay? You can hold on to a rail or whatever you have. And you want to keep all the weight on the balls of your feet. Okay? Slight bend the knee, never lock out the knees. Come up and squeeze in the top as high as you can. Stretch on the way down. Feel that stretch in the calves, and then up. Nice, slow control. Two. Three. Four. Five. We do five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. I want you to hold the top and squeeze. Now, what also you can do for more advanced calf raisers is you're going to do a single leg calf raise, all right? This is also good for development in a weaker leg. For instance, I have a weaker left leg, so I do a lot of uh, single limb exercises with that side, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to keep all the weight, again, on that, the ball of the foot, hook that other leg behind, and you're going to lift and hold. So all that weight's on that left side. Stretch and bring it up strong, right from the ball of the foot. Two, three, these are tough. Just do what you can do here. Four, do 10 on this, eight, nine, no more, and 10. Again, you can do these either with just your legs lying free or with uh, some leg weights. And you're gonna keep your legs together and you're gonna do an extension, okay? Nice and slow. You just want to isolate that one side, just the other one dangle, and extend it up, okay? The key is isometrically flexing your quad at the top and then lowering it down nice and slow. Now, whenever you're using the machine, the extension machine, which everybody uses in the gym, it's very important with other exercises as well to adjust the machine correctly for you, okay? So whenever you adjust that back adjustment, you want to slide it to where your knee is just over it and in line with that, that uh, bolt that goes back and forth with the extension. With the bottom, you want that pad right on the bottom of your shin to your foot right in here. So you're nice and in line. I see a lot of people get on the machine, they don't even bother to adjust. And their, their knee is way over here and they're coming way too deep. It puts too much stress on the joint. So for me, if I was going to adjust it, this would be perfect. See, my leg, my knee joint is just off this knee here. I'm going to keep my back nice and flat and extend. Two, three, we're going to do ten of these. Flex the quad at the top. Four, five, six. Notice how I'm making that little pause at the top. Seven, eight. Let's go two more. Nine. And you're going to hold and squeeze the top and lower it down. That's it. And I'm going to show you a couple things you can do for both your lower and upper abdominals. 
We're going to start with bringing the knee in with the elbow, okay? Again, you're going to support the neck in and let it out, nice and slow. Notice my knee is at a 90 degree angle. It's not coming down here or up here. It's right in line with my other knee, nice and slow and controlled. Four, five, you're going to push your chest toward the knee, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now if we do fifteen on this side, you got to even it out. Here we go. One. chest up toward the knee. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good, down. Nice, slow, control movements. That's the key. Okay, now we're going to do a double crunch. This is a little more advanced, okay? For uh, those of you who have some lower back problems, um, you could try it, but if you start to feel in the lower back, just bring the feet down, supported, and lift from the upper body. So what we're going to do is keep the knees together. We're going to up, double crunch, and tap the heels, nice and slow. Okay, again, you have to tilt those hips up to get those lower abdominals, and lift with the upper body, get those upper, and bring them together like a compactor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna slow myself down. We'll do eleven. Trainers every once in a while find themselves, you know, they have to watch their form constantly. It's really important. Like every once in a while I'll be thinking about something else and I'll notice I'm going too fast or I'm, I'm not in a proper position. And you have to reevaluate yourself and, and go on with the movement because it's really important. You can't get sidetracked. So even for the, the pros, they do every once in a while get sidetracked. Okay? We're going to do another movement for their lower back. We're going to come back over here. And I call these hood ornaments, and you'll see why. It's kind of interesting. What you're going to do is you're going to come up like this. Now you're going to lift one arm up and one leg up, and you're going to hold. Okay. Now the key is you're going to stabilize yourself with the opposite leg and arm. Okay. Now as you get you know better with this, you get better with the the balance. Okay. So take it real slow up and hold. Remember you're not hyperextending. You're just holding up, and again you're going to hold for. 10 to 15 seconds, and then you're going to come down, again stabilize yourself first, collect yourself, and then lift up with the opposite side, okay? Now some people it might be easier on one side than the other. This side's a little bit, a little bit harder for me, I think. And hold it there, and let it down, okay? You can alternate back and forth like you're doing, but again you got to hold, and up. One more time, other side. Hold and bring it back up. Okay, I'm going to show you one more abdominal exercise here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go a side front side. Okay, so you're going to do is you're going to keep your feet down, supporting your back. I see a lot of people when they're doing their abdominals, they have their legs out in front of them here. Okay, what happens is right away, as soon as your legs go away from your body and your legs are extended. I can get my hand underneath my back here. You don't want that. Your back is hyperextended right now. As soon as you bring the feet up, boom, it puts your back in a better position. Your back's flat, and you can continue with the exercise. So we're going to go side, front, and a side. Go at that angle. Two. Now I want you to bring the feet up crossed. Again, the lower back's going to be flat. You're stabilized here, and you're going to continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm not moving a lot here. I'm nice and stabilized. Eight, nine, and hold the top for two.
Ten seconds. Nine, eight, don't pull that forward. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with some push-ups here. Okay, we're gonna do a couple different exercises here. Just follow me. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go. Alright, so we're gonna start with some push-ups. Alright, hands a little wider than shoulder width. You're gonna support yourself in the back here with your feet. Okay, again, keep your back nice and straight, and I want you to come here to a 90 degree angle. Again, don't put any stretch on the stress on that shoulder. Here we go. One. strong to do a regular push-up, I want you to bring the knees down, cross your legs behind you, keep the same posture, and press like so. Again, lower yourself down. Nice, slow, controlled. Okay, keep it going. Let's go two more. One. And two. Good. Okay, now we're going to swim around this way, directly on your back. No time to waste. And lift. Crunch. Six, seven, we'll 15 good ones. Eight, nine, five more. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Back to the push ups. Here we go. I'm going to do the regular ones here. Here we go. Let's see if we can do 15. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Five. I got a lot of clients that I have to do push-ups, and they love it. Still haven't beat me yet. A couple have come close, but not yet. Let's do five more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. You know, a lot of my clients, you know, they, they tell me that that I give a lot of inspiration. And it's interesting because we're starting with the abdominals and crunch. But my clients and the people around me are the people that inspire me because I'll be just as tired as the next person. But I'll finish the set because I know that one of my clients would finish that set the same way I'd want them to. So those last few reps are important. Five more. One, two, three, four. And five. One more time. Third set. Now, if you can't do a full 15, it's okay. Just do what you can do with good form. That's the key. Two. A lot of people ask me, Shane, you know, how do I know how many reps to do, how much weight to do? You pick a weight that's good for you, and you keep the form. As soon as the form goes, you're done. It's time to take a rest and go on to another exercise or wait for another set. Five more. One, two, three. You getting tired yet? Four. One more. And five. Good. One more set of abs. Here we go. This time we're going to bring the feet up crossed. Fifteen and go. One, two, three. It's a little bit of a circuit here. Four, five. Circuit meaning you don't stop one or the other. Eight, nine, five, eleven, twelve. See, I'm getting a little winded here. 14, and you're gonna hold and down. All right, good job. That's it. Okay, uh, we're gonna be uh, doing another exercise for the lower uh, lower um, lumbar, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie flat. We're gonna do an exercise called swimming. Okay, come down flat on your abdominals. You're gonna extend your arms out. Okay, you're gonna lift your opposite arm with the opposite leg. So the right arm with the left leg, you're gonna lift and hold and down. Okay, you're gonna switch the side back and forth. So notice as I'm lifting up, I'm not hyperextending, I'm just extending, keeping the integrity of my spine. Also, I'm stabilizing with the other opposite hand and upper opposite leg. Nice and slow and controlled. We're gonna do 10 on each side. There's three, four, five, six, Seven. Now remember not to lift the leg and the arm until the other hand is down and the other leg is down. Nice and slow. There's ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 5 more, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's 20. Okay, this is an excellent exercise to do even before you play golf or um, uh, any sports where you're going to be running around, a lot of uh, lateral movement, because it does warm up your trunk and it's very important. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little more advanced exercise. You've probably seen this uh, in some yoga classes, also, it's been around a long time. Okay, so the next movement we're going to do are they're called Supermans, and for you ladies, Superwomen's. And what you're going to do is you're going to extend your arms out and your legs, and this is a little more advanced than the swimming. You're going to lift both your arms and your legs off the floor at the same time. Extending, not hyperextending. Lift and hold. And this is isometrically strengthening your lower back muscles. It's very important. Just keep breathing nice and slow through the movement. What I like to do with my clients is I like to have them hold for, you know, start with 10 seconds, and then I have them put their hands down, and then start with 20, and we work up to a minute. I have a couple of clients that do almost two minutes. Um, it's very important because it really helps strengthen up the lower back. Let it down slowly, okay? This is another beach workout tip. It's very important. A couple things. Um, again, we're going to review as far as warming up. Let's walk first or do a cycle to warm up the muscles before you stretch. Then you can go to your weights or your cardio or what have you. And then when you're done, it's important to take a few minutes and stretch afterward. I know you want to go home. But if you do that, your muscles will respond much better, you won't be as sore the next day, and you'll increase your flexibility, which is very important, especially as we get a little bit older. And another thing, when you work out, it's always a good idea to work the big muscle groups first. So if you go to the gym and you decide you're going to do, say, back and biceps that day, work your back muscles first and then your biceps. The reason being, the back muscles are bigger muscles and the biceps are stabilizers, okay? You need those stabilizers to help the back. So you need to do the bigger muscle groups first and then the smaller group, muscle groups. Um, another tip as far as um, the weight you choose when you do your um, exercises. Um, for those that want to build muscle mass, you do need to use a little more weight keep the, the form down, but you need to use more weight to build the muscle mass. For the people, a lot of, I have a lot of female clients that just want to tone and firm. So I keep their weights fairly light and uh, keep their reps usually around about 15 to 20 reps. And I like to change the workouts around a little bit because that's very important. If you don't change your workouts around, then you are going to get bored and you won't get any better. You'll just stabilize and you, you're not going to improve yourself. Now as far as the people, mostly men, but there are some women out there that want to build some muscle mass, um, a good tip, instead of starting off with a lower weight and increasing your weight a pyramid up, start heavy and then come down. For instance, you always want to warm up first with light weight, uh, maybe a couple sets with real light weight, but say if you're going to work your chest, instead of starting with um, uh, heavy weight and going heavier and heavier and heavier, start with your max. Maybe do about five to six reps max, drop maybe 10 to 20 pounds, rest for about a minute, and then try to increase a couple reps. That way you're pyramiding down, you're starting with a heavier weight, so you're going to be able to do a couple more reps and you're going to build more muscle mass that way. Well, it was good working out with you today and I hope to see you next week. Goodbye for now for Beach Workout.